wouldn't that be a violation of the second law of thermodynamics? No. What no. is the second law of thermodynamics? It was at this moment that this NASA employee no. he messed up. So dismantling this NASA employee at the airport is definitely one of my best videos. I'm sharing it again and breaking it up into segments. So if you guys want to mirror it or share it or didn't catch it the first time, now you'll have an opportunity to do so. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Enjoy the video, please. Just so you guys know, that's a NASA employee reading NASA documents I spotted at the airport. And, yeah, it's and right. NASA claims that it rests against a boundary of space that's a 10 to the negative 17 torque. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, the, the atmosphere is, is pretty thin. Oh, it's pretty thin. Good to know. And at a certain point, uh, uh, it just gets very, very, you know, it just dissipates. So it, it goes from very thin. It's thick near, thick near the surface, and then it attenuates as you get farther and farther out in space into the vacuum of space. So we got a 14.7. So you're saying we have energy. no barrier between our pressurized atmosphere and the vacuum of space. Exactly. But I don't know if this guy reads the NASA website, but you cannot have gas pressure without a container. Wouldn't that be a violation of the second law of thermodynamics? No. no. What is the second law of thermodynamics? Uh, I can't remember. So this NASA employee doesn't know the second law of thermodynamics? Well, you could have fooled me. He looks like he's in his prime. You know that it's not a violation, but then I asked you what the second law of thermodynamics is, and you couldn't tell me. Laugh it up, big guy. Well, that was very convincing. I, I know, but I, I, I know what the atmosphere is around Earth. You're, you're sitting here right now, and you're breathing. And if you take out a, yeah, of an course, I agree. It's fourteen point seven. If you get up to, I think, uh, sixty-seven miles, I believe is. Uh, I agree. Pressure boundary decreases. where space officially kind of opens, but you can still see atmosphere there. I agree that the atmosphere decreases with altitude. It's a gradient, but that's yeah. easily explained by hydrostatics. That why we have a gradient because we live in a closed dynamic system where the gas is inhomogeneous and anisotropic. It's different in all directions and constantly moving around. Sure. Yeah. So I'm still ask, asking, how do you have gas pressure without a container? Well, I, I think it's the pressure of the atmosphere. All of the, if you measure the air, it's got pressure to it. I mean, it's got weight, and that weight is bearing down. I'm sorry I have to do this to you, Mr. NASA employee, but gas moves in all directions. It doesn't just go down. Okay, but gas pressure is defined as gas pressing out in all directions. So if you're saying that all the weight is just pressing down, that's a violation of gas pressure. There may be a subtlety that you're thinking about, but... Yeah, I know. The subtlety is that space is all fake. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sure glad that NASA employee figured out that space is fake. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored and demonetized video, and quick shout out to everyone who supports my activism and makes these videos possible. I love you guys. It's hard to comprehend. Space is